What's up guys? Welcome back to Boost Brothers Garage. In this episode, we are going to be taking these exhaust components, we're going to be welding them up and trying to make an exhaust system for our 07K swap 944. Stay tuned. I'm assuming most of you guys are aware of this build by now, especially all the subscribers. If not, I'll post some information down below and at the end of the video, basically we're taking a five cylinder 07K Volkswagen engine and we're transplanting it into my Porsche 944. So here's my plan of attack. We have the Lamborghini Gallardo header here. We have the five cylinder 07K sitting in the car. I welded on a V-band flange to the end of the header and now I need to figure out how the exhaust is gonna come out of the car. My plan, and uh, this is not gonna be most people's plan, but it's mine, is to 90 down right here. So I'll be using this guy. And I'm gonna go straight down, and then I'm gonna use a U-bend, and I'm gonna come right back up this hole right here, where I'm gonna be using this real tiny Dynamax race bullet muffler that mounts right here, and then straight out the hood. Let's get to cutting. There's one small issue with my plan. Actually, there's, there's probably a lot of issues with my plan, but the, this is the first hurdle we have to jump. So basically, because of how far forward the header comes, there's not a ton of room to run this exhaust out and down. What I should have done is probably shorten the header. I don't wanna go back and do it now because it's already welded, it's already wrapped, everything. I'm trying to keep from doing that. So in order to do that, I needed to cut off as much of this elbow as I possibly could. So when you cut that bend that far in, you can actually get into the bend itself, which causes you to get an oval shape to your cut instead of it being perfectly round. There may be a way to fix this when you're cutting it. If there is, I don't know it. If you do know it, post it down below. But in the meantime, I have an oval pipe and a round V-band. And if you look, you can actually see the bottom sitting where it should be and the top does not. The sides are a little more inset than they should be. So what I'm gonna try to do is throw it in the vise and squish it back to round a little bit. I'm just hoping it works. And now we tack it in place. And here's where we're at. We have decent clearance for the radiator and the fan, and it looks like lining up perfectly with the muffler. Now we've got to fabricate a U-bend to go from here, down and around and up to here. And I'm gonna to try to keep this as close to this frame rail as possible. Complete change of plans. Unfortunately, going the way we originally wanted to, really interfered with the lower radiator hose. So we are gonna attempt to just come directly sideways and out the fender. It's going to require some fancy cutting, but we're looking like right there. And there's plenty of room. I'll have to redo this, of course. No big deal, we're really early on in this whole process, but there is plenty of room to fit the muffler. And this is how things escalate in the Boost Brothers garage. Well, we made a cool mark, but we didn't cut a hole. Dremel time. Pretty sure I just killed my Dremel. The exhaust project that just doesn't want to be. Fuck me. After a quick trip to the hardware store, I'm back with a brand new Dremel and what is hopefully a better hole saw. And now it's time to play a little game called I Win. And that, boys and girls, is how you play the game. I win. This is gonna be my exhaust outlet bezel. Let's test fit it, just for shits and giggles. Ooh! 
Ooh, it's going to look good. We now have two holes in the exhaust coming through with the muffler in a pretty nice spot. We'll obviously have to cut this U-bend off and finish the fabrication to the V-band. It's going to be pretty sweet. We're going to have to do a little bit of finagling with this bezel because it has to sit kind of at an angle on the fender and the exhaust doesn't like to do that so I'll probably have to do some trimming on the bezel or a little crimping on the exhaust but that's okay. It's a couple days later uh, I need to apologize in advance for how choppy I'm sure this video is going to be once I finish editing it. Basically the other night I just put my head down and kept working and I completely forgot to film so here's where we're at right now. I was able to basically reuse uh, this bin that I had made in the V-band flange. I cut the tack welds and I repositioned it just a little bit and then welded it back up. I put the resonator muffler in place. I got the uh, tailpipe, the, uh, the exit done and cut the way it should be. And then I had to make this piece right here to get everything lined up. What I need to do now is go ahead and take it back off and finish weld everything. I also need to figure out where I'm going to put the O2 sensor bung, cut the hole for that, weld it in, and then I'm going to wrap everything, throw it back on the car, put the bezel on, and we'll be done. This right here is what happens when you forget to turn the gas on. Don't do that. Now I get to grind all that off. I got everything finished welded. Uh, unfortunately, this one where the gas was turned off and I had to grind it back down, it made it difficult to see where I should weld and it turned into a bit of a disaster. Some of the others turned out okay. Uh, I'm not a professional by any stretch of the imagination, but A, it's gonna be wrapped, uh, so it's gonna be pretty well hidden, and B, the areas that I thought I had potential issues, I ground down to make sure I didn't have any pinholes or anything, and I think we're in good shape. But now we need to install the O2 sensor bung. And the deal with the O2 sensor bung is you need to install it between nine and three o'clock. And that's to make sure that if there's any uh, moisture or condensation in the exhaust, it doesn't settle in the bottom of the exhaust and on the sensor. So I'm gonna put it at the nine o'clock position because that's where uh, it will face the front of the car and be pretty well hidden. Say that's not going anywhere. Might have got a little aggressive there. For the exhaust wrap, I'm gonna be using the DEI titanium wrap, just like I did on the header. This is the stuff that has the lava rock in it. I don't really know what that means, but I think it looks awesome. Someone asked me after the last video why I didn't wet this stuff before putting it on. And uh, well, that's because the instructions, at least for the titanium wrap, say you don't need to wet it. Uh, that was common practice for all the older, like white and black fiberglass wraps. But uh, they say it's not needed for this stuff. This stuff frays really bad at the end, so I like to kind of roll it back under itself where I finish it, and this is all hidden inside the fender, so it's not really a big deal either. And there is the finished product. I've got my fender exit bezel installed. Time to see if this thing fits and if all this hard work was worth it. And there is the finished exhaust, man. I'm really pleased with how that turned out. The wrap looks great. Obviously the Lamborghini Gallardo header looks awesome. And the fender exit, the lighting kind of sucks, but the fender exit's pretty sweet too. There it is guys, this one's done. Once again, I apologize if the video's super choppy and I didn't get to film it quite the way I had planned, but that's okay because I'm really happy with the end result of the exhaust itself. I can't wait to hear it. The next time you see this car, we've got a whole pile of AN fittings. 
We've got an oil cooler, an oil catch can. We've got all the stuff for our fuel system. So we're gonna be getting all of that stuff done and moving one step closer to hearing this thing fire up. Thanks for watching. See you next time.